Okay, so in this video, we are going to be going through the configuration to the network. Um, and this is, again, the only the only thing that we ever know, I mean, I don't know the back end of your network, so I'm just going to show you how this generally goes with TCP IP. Um, I mean, I can show you that with, and that's about it. Um, you know, Fujitsu will have to do something different if anything else is different. We don't have any of the knowledge or any of the background on your network. So uh, this is how you configure the numbers that they gave you. So what you'll first want to do is when it's in ready, just click the green button and go to your information menu. And what we're going to want to do first is scroll in and print off the configuration. So once this comes off, you don't need to really pay attention to the config page, but you want the EIO Jet Direct card page. And you're going to see on here um, where you have your IP config, your IP address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. Um, those are the three numbers that uh, were provided in that email. And then here is those corresponding numbers and then you can reprint this once you program it to see if those numbers were in. So um, now when you go back to your screen, it should be back to ready. And what you want to do is, again, take it to your menus, scroll down to config device, and press check, then scroll all the way down to I.O. menu. And once you're in I.O., you want to go down to E.I.O. 2. It'll either say E.I.O. 1 or E.I.O. 2. And it may just say EIO if you have onboard networking. Um, but you want to go to the EIO Jet Direct menu. So once you get into there, um, it's going to come to this uh, message here where it says uh, config network. It says no, so you want to say yes. So just hit your up arrow and it should go to that. And then hit your uh, check button to asterisk um, to say yes to click um, to configure the network. Once you do that, you click it again. And IPX, SPX should be off. DLC slash LLC should be off. And then TCP IP should be on. If it's off, use your up button again to go to on. And then asterisk. So in this case, it's already on. So that's on. eTalk can be on. It doesn't matter. If it's off, it doesn't matter either. But when you come in, it'll say configure TCP IP um, equals no. You're going to want to hit yes because we're going to go through that now. And once you hit yes, we'll go through, and it's going to ask you one more time for boot P, which is a no. So this is the IP byte, meaning the IP number. So like in here where it says your IP numbers, the sub, the IP address, it starts with 10.30.0.2. This is what this one's configured to. So when you look at that, the first byte in that is going to be, um, so let's just call it, uh, let's say, it uh, let's say it's just 15 or 26 and then you can hit select if you hit check again it's going to go to the second number which would, on this one is 30 and then you just go down that list and plug in these numbers you know whatever it may be and so that's the IP address one next one will go to the subnet mask and that's what SM means and this is what the subnet mask number would be. So you just plug in those numbers just like you did the IP address. Um, so let's just say subnet mask is um, just for sake. I mean, you can go to any number you want just by scrolling with your arrows up and down. And then you click yes, go to the next one, next one, next one. And then it's going to go to LG. Those numbers we don't need to necessarily worry about because the next one you want is that default gateway or the gateway numbers. And so just scroll through these. They're all going to equal zero. And when you get to the GW, which means gateway, then again, you put those numbers in that they gave you. Once you go through, it's the same way you configure the last two. Um, you know, you go in and select it. Once you get them all selected to the right numbers, obviously you're just pressing the uh, check button to move to the next one, and so on and so forth. So once those are all good to go, once you have all those in, it's going to ask for certain timeouts. The timeout equals 90 seconds. That's what is normal. 
Um, you don't need to configure eTalk, and then it'll bring you back. Once you've gone through everything, it'll bring you back to the EIO. So once you go back to the EIO, everything should be configured. And then what you can do is just back out with the back button all the way to ready. And that should be, that should be how it's done. And then again, once you print this page off, once you go through here again and print this off, So we'll just print another configuration page off. Oh, we're out of paper. Figures. So the config page, and then there's that, again, the secondary IP address page. You can see now differently how these change when I switched them around. So all your numbers should match up with the numbers that were given to you on that email to configure it to the network. So um, that's basically how you do it. Again, if there's any other background stuff, um, you're going to have to talk to Fujitsu. I don't know if you're running different protocols, but uh, that's essentially TCP IP, the way we just showed you how to set it up, which is generally those three numbers, the sub, uh, subnet mask, the gateway, and the IP address. So that is that.